I hope my sound is on. I hope so. It should be. If not, I'm gonna be beauty. Okay. Um, how y'all doing? What's up? It's your girl, Miss P. Hope you're doing fabulous. I am doing pretty well today. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. That lets me know that you enjoy these love and hip hop reviews. And also subscribe if you haven't already. The November Lose It Challenge starts November the 2nd. I'm really excited about it. If you would like to be a part of the Lose It Challenge, make sure to send me an email. The email for that is down below. You get meal plans, you get workouts, you get motivation and accountability from myself. Clients that I've helped in the last two months with the September and October one ranges from from, oh my god, Miss P, I've lost 10 pounds during this. Someone lost 21 pounds. Five, six inches were lost. And the most important part to me is that confidence and that energy has come back. So I'm so excited about it. And yeah, your girl, you know me, I done lost. I just counted 90 pounds during my YouTube stay. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to help other people and I would love to help you. Now, y'all know I love the bitch series, right? Okay, I got to read Bitch the Beginning of the End a little early. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was like, oh shit. Like, I really had to sit in my own little bubble, in my own little corner, and read that. Like, I was seriously on my iPad, like, oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. It releases on October the 29th, and y'all need to get y'all life and go get that. Y'all know I'm like a diehard fan of the bitch series, and Chad is about to come to an end. I can't, I can't, oh, mm, mm, oh my god. I can't believe I'm saying that, but y'all need to check it out. No, she known for them cliffhangers, and the cliffhanger of this one was like, wait! No! It was bomb, so make sure to get it, and all her books are bomb. So, um, yes, that concludes the announcements. Let's go on and get into this review. Baby, all that talking, I gotta take that off. So, Amber and her sisters are meeting up so that she can call Miles to talk about what she really wanna know. Hoping that he can feel their energy through the phone. She was like, so tell me what you need to go ahead and tell me. And he was like, um, well, I, I've been with... Milan. So were y'all playing patty cake? Y'all playing ring around the rosy? Were y'all going to Publix? Like, what were you doing? Like, were y'all, huh? Uh huh? She was like sleeping with him, and he was like, um, yes, I'm sorry, but what happened? What? Um, I have been in a relationship with him for a while. Child, the phone dropped. The room started spinning. Amber, I thought she was gonna go into her um. I love my attack but then she was like you know what i want to know every single detail i, I, ooh, I need to know this because we done been together with him before i was like oh miles y'all really had an outing together and y'all thinking everybody cool like she ain't know oh i understand amber wanted some sort of closure but no nah, she want to talk to milan face to face she want to know everything i said girl oh okay girl all right tiara marie she has a new lease on life as per usual after her plan exploded with uh princess and ray j so she's meeting up with Moni so that she can talk about the foolery that's happened and how she wants to get life up girl quit eating and go run that's my thing i mean save your money those aren't my coins so i can't tell you what to do with it and even she said and i know y'all can say i can do plenty of cardio but i need this done fast and i'm like girl like i don't mm, Okay, if that's what you want to do, Tierra. All Fizz has a little camera. They are so cute. And Moniz is nowhere to be found in it. I said, oh, Lord. That's how they want to start it. They like, oh, she's M-I-A. Nikki Baby is going to see Hazel because Hazel has been in an ATV accident over in Dubai. I said, you know what? How the hell did you get it? Okay, okay, Hazel. Okay. She had to have emergency surgery. Hazel pulling the pictures out. I said, oh, oh, Lord. Ouch. Ooh. I felt like we were on ER. Girl, you are not a professional ATV roller, ma'am. What are you doing? And they needed to save my nose for emergency surgery, but I felt like a monster. Everybody was like, no, no, no. no. Now, here's the thing. I totally had compassion for her with the accident. I was like, oh, no. But when she was in that confessional and put the gauze back on and you done been in that outfit for the rest of these past episodes, ma'am, uh-uh. Okay, the visual, you need that today? You need that right now? Rich Slobber says that he has grown and he wants to meet back up with Monice's mom, Marla. And Marla was like, you know what? I would have handled that a lot differently. So she wants to meet with Rich Dollars and I guess they're gonna hash it out again. Wow, so Marla is trying to scare Rich away from Monice and I'm like, well they already been boinging. I mean, it's a done deal. What are you doing, ma'am? They get into the whole custody back and forth. Marla has one story, Rich has heard it the other way. Marla, something about Marla just make my eyebrow raise a little bit. Like it's something, something, 
you know when you have something and you're like, mm, this is supposed to be good, but it's not. That's how I feel with Marla. So you do know what you're getting into. He was like, all I can do is try. That's all I can do. She was like, so all I can do is try. I said, oh, God. He is taking time for herself from Soldier Toddler, and she's putting on this mommy and mimosas event, and Teddy Riley, her daddy, comes through, and he wants to talk to her about uh, Soldier Toddler because he's heard some things and all that. And she getting a little defensive, and she was like, uh, daddy, uh, you of all people should know and he was like well holla 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 you don't have to go through that you don't deserve that I know but nobody's perfect he's really really good with the baby like he's better than me half the time I was like what the hell kind of logic what it's her choice pumpkin if you want to deal with soldier toddler's antics until he goes to preschool and uh, makes it onward to sixth grade and graduates sure go through that girl go there kelly whatever you want to do I, I don't i don't really care anymore i really don't it's time for hazel's consultation with the doctor who saved her nose the doctor was taking everything off she was like i know i'm gonna look like a monster and tiara was like no you're not gonna look like a monster they take it off she's like oh god and tiara was like it's your nose Tiara, shut the hell up. Be quiet. I know you want to support, but I was hollering because I was like, ma'am, what kind of response is to your nose? <laughs> That's not what she wanted. I think she really, really, really wanted a nose job. She really wanted that nose to be knocked off like that and they have to put it back together. Bless her heart. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Brandy is on Nick Cannon's label. She's a part of a duo rap group and they done put out singles and different stuff. I was like, what? But listen to this. Her temper has caused everything to be kind of like skirt because she can't work with no producers or anything. So Nick wants to have a nice little all-wrong meeting with her and her husband, Max Mouth, so that they can figure out what he's going to do to get his return on his investment. Fizz meets with Amarion. Touch to Ara. Talk about how Moniece hasn't been hanging around Cameron, being that they're four of us. She's been missing in action with Cameron uh, for the last couple of weekends. He's been doing everything like super done. I really thought Amarion was going to be like, she ain't doing what she supposed to be. Oh, man. He is going to go talk to Marla. I said, oh, shit. That's the last resort. Mia goes to see Soldier Toddler. And I guess they both took a cool it now. They both took a break. And I'm like, hold up. Y'all are still together after that big old shit back? Ooh. Mm. He was like, look, fuck Nas and fuck all them hoes. I was fucking just fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. I mean, we gonna be together. I mean, I'm gonna change. Nah, I ain't gonna, but I'm gonna do what I can because I'm gonna make this money. And you, you, I love y'all. They trying to, I love you. They trying to be you. They hate us because they ain't us. Peanut butter and jealous. I was like, okay, that's how he gets her because half the time she doesn't know what he's saying and she just thinks that it makes sense. It's been like a learning experience, you dig? What the fuck? Nia, if that's what you want, ma'am, you be blessed. We were rooting for you. We were. She was like, so what are you, what do you think with us, like, five years, five months, five days? He was like, you know what, I ain't jinxing my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's gonna be, it's gonna be, if the stars in the sky and they gonna come down, like, sparkle on you, you did? Like, yeah. All I see right now with us is, like, the next 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all I can see. <laughs> Nia? You set yourself up for that. Fizz is finally meeting up with Marla to explain his side of everything that's going on with Moniece being MIA. She was like, well, Drew, you knew what you got into when you were dating her. Like, uh, what do you, you knew what you were dealing with. I feel like you should pick up like some of Moniece's slack. She was like, oh, huh, 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 huh. I told you the shift is only gonna happen when you take her to court and you get all her money and you get full custody. That's the only way that this is gonna happen. But I'm gonna see my grandson. But as far as me picking up, <laughs> I'm not picking up any of the slack. I was like, damn, Gina. Oh my, Marla. I'm not trying to take my son from his mama. I was like, okay, fit, okay. Marla is such an ass. Then she got the nerve. This was the asshole award that she gets. I don't see either one of you giving that diehard dedication. I don't. Fizz was like, oh, oh, uh-uh, no, you. Y'all remember Holiday Heart? Ooh, ooh, no. Oh, Fizz started crying, Marla. You, you, ooh. I just wanted to hold him next to me and just hold and rock him. That's what I wanted to do. I said, ooh, you better cry, Fizz. I, ooh, it pulled at my heartstrings. I, I, it pulled at, and then, da 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 Fizz finally got it. He said, well, damn, I thought that Monice had 
some support all these years. She ain't got no support if she with Godzilla. Marla pretty much told her, I'm 47, bro. I done lived my life and raised my children, okay? I ain't got time for that. I gotta be fabulous. Mm -mm. No, no, no. But you all right? I said, bruh. That whole scene was like, bruh. Lil B is back in the studio with Mouth and her duo mate. I like mac and cheese with a side of greens like she was giving me well no she was giving me a little Nicki Minaj I was like girl and she kept stopping and Max was like oh my god I hated it I was like Max sir you're just getting on my nerves sitting right there I can't her duo mate gets into the booth and does whatever she has to do and he was like yes that's how you need to be rapping she was like can I get some encouragement so they have to talk and her phone is ringing she was like it might be the baby he was like I don't care if it's our baby or a newborn or anybody what i'm trying to say is you need to make sure that you focus because we can't get nothing done and she's like but and he just walks out i'm like how sway like i don't first of all little b i totally understand that you really need to get your ducks in a row but max you're not helping either i, I don't get their union i don't I always forget that monice can sing i always forget that because all her antics that just flies out the window she's rehearsing and fizz comes to meet up with her so that they can finally talk about why she's been m.i.a he feels ganged up on she's like and you don't care nobody cares he was like i care about you if anybody cares i do so they have like a crying healing session i so agree healthy communication will help them like for real but Monique's girl you can't be MIA just because your mama crazy your son is right there growing every single day you have to be there for your son like if he's taking care of him through the week I know you can see him on the weekend like I, I, I'm just saying I know you want to get everything done you want to be an artist you got rich and slobbers like uh, you can totally see your baby like that's my thing I you know what I don't have any children I ain't got no baby four of us or nothing like that. But I mean, if that's your kid, you really need to be there because these years are just passing like this. And he gonna be like, uh, mama, who? We we get it that you don't have support and all that. But girl, you can't be MIA with your babies. You can't be doing that. Amber is going to see Milan face to face. Milan is in full fur. I don't, yep. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I said, what is he doing in the studio? I don't understand it. So he finally tells him, okay, okay. And then it cuts off right there. I'm like, well, da da da. I, I, I can't with Love and Hip Hop's cut off sectionals. Sometimes I can't do it. She thinking about Fizz, Marla, and Monice. Uh, what are you thinking about Hazel and her accident? Uh, let's talk about that. I did check out Black Ink Chicago. All that drama in just the first episode. Ryan, though. Hey, babe. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Mm. What's that dude's name? Four? And what was the girl's name? Charmaine? Oh my god. It was too much. Too much. But this it's just gonna be crazy. Child of Walking Dead! Oh lord! Sunday and Monday. I, my spirit was heavy. Even though this was a fictional character, my spirit was heavy. Because Glenn, lord, and the way they just took out his, all his arteries and mess, and he's like, no, lord! Oh lord! And Nicholas, bum ass. Ooh, Rick done went straight Cleo and set it off. Now he can't get out the bus. Like, this is too much. I just can't. I can't. Daryl, he done went off the path. Child, they in that car. I know it's gonna start putt putting. Ooh, The Walking Dead, that's my show. I freaking love The Walking Dead. It's everything. All right, you guys, the shout outs are coming back next week. I'm excited for it, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next review. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!